Today's tip, how to add Boolean data to a recipe. Although the recipe database was developed to store numeric and string data, in some applications you may need to store Boolean data as well. Within this tutorial, we'll discuss how to store and transfer Boolean data within the recipe database. To begin, I have an instance of Easy Builder Pro open, and within my project, we'll add a numeric item to our current recipe. We'll use this numeric item to store Boolean data in the form of either a 0 or 1. With my numeric item added, I'll click OK and close the recipe database. To change the value of this item, select the Object tab and create a toggle switch. Within the Properties menu, we'll address this object to recipe bit 0 of the numeric parameter. When finished, click OK and place this object. To transfer this data from our recipe to another device, we'll use a macro to convert integer data into Boolean format. To create our macro, within the Project tab, click Macro, and within the following menu, click New. Let's declare a new Boolean variable called data by typing bool data equals false. Now, Select the get slash set fn button in the bottom left corner, and within the following menu, select get data from the function name drop down list. Ensure that the read address is configured to recipe bit 0 of the numeric parameter that will store the Boolean data, and click OK. Now let's use the get slash set fn button once more. Except this time, select the setData command from the function name drop down list. And ensure that the write address is configured to the address that you would like to transfer this data to. When finished, click OK. To create a macro that will read data from our device, into this parameter, simply reverse the get data and set data statements. However, please ensure that the recipe command to update the selected record is triggered after transferring this data. If I were to add this to the macro, it may appear as shown. Once the macro is finished, Click Save and Compile and exit the Macro Workspace. If you would like to test this project that we have created during this demonstration, please check the description for a download link. Thank you for watching this quick tip created by WinTech USA support. For more information about our software and our products, please visit WinTechUSA.com.